Hi, I'm Mark, and this is my journey through tarot. Come with. Okay, so today it's going to be the four-card oracle you pick. Four cards you pick. And then we'll do a diet across to finish. So let's see how this goes. You're going to like this. Okay, so this is the giant rider weight tarot deck. And I just thought it'd be fun to use this deck. But um, it comes in, you know, it's a slightly, not much more, but just a slightly more substantial box than some of the, the cards come in. And uh, it's got the typical, I mean, everything that everything else would have, but just huge, you know, just bigger. Uh, the uh, It's a standard uh, little guidebook. So, you know, just not anything super special. And if you're familiar with the uh, rider weight cards, um, you'll know how big are these does it actually say right here i'm sure it does um okay here they are four inches by six and three quarter inches four inches by six and three quarter inches that's what you got here but uh, they're the cards that you're used to uh on any uh, standard uh, rider weight uh, deck they're just in fact giant so there you go you've also got the tiny little ones that you can put in your pocket so rider weight cards fun to use this should be pretty clear don't you think so this is going to be a four card uh situation here We'll see how this goes. Maybe not. Maybe we'll just do a regular, regular draw. I don't know. We'll see. But um, that's those cards for your perusal. Okay, so the problem with these is that they're so big, it's hard to um, decide how you're going to shuffle them. I guess this is one option here. So we'll see how this goes. I don't know, I thought it would be a kick to use these, but hey, I might come to regret it. Certainly, like I said, certainly the message will be clear. Let's uh, do a shuffle, see how that works out. I don't use them, as you can tell, I don't use them often at all because they're big, but I mean, they are fun and they're clear, and, and I should use them more because they're big. So, there you go. And because they're regular, you know, they're the ordinary uh, depictions uh, of the original uh, right away deck. So... You know, you always look for something a little different, something to make the experience a little more fun. But mixing them up uh, helps uh, too, ahead of time. So there you go. So four card oracle. So remember that what you need to do, just clear your mind, get your four questions or, you know, whatever your questions are, one, two, three, however many you have uh, ready in your head. Uh, take a deep breath. <sighs> Relax. And then just be ready for what the cards tell you. Okay, I'm going to cut these four times since we have four card pick. And we'll see how this works. Okay, four cards out of here. We we'll have one, two, three, and four. Okay, we're going to use these in a minute to finish this divination. And uh, you can choose the cards or card that best suits you. Remember, you can stop this tape at any time. You can even go past this if you already decided uh, what card is yours. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Remember to keep your question in the front of your mind. Take another deep breath. And just choose the card that you like. One, two, three, four. Okay. So now, set these off. And I really haven't practiced this or decided how I'm going to use all this space. So I'll just see how this whole thing goes. Um, if you chose number one, okay. So this is the Ace of Swords. And I don't even need a pointer. This is so huge. So the Ace of Swords is, uh, this is an offer of truth, an offer of, just, an offer of justice. And this is a great big yes, yes, yes card. Okay. If you chose number two. Then you've got uh, the Five of Swords, and the Five of Swords is just what it looks like. So some people have been taken advantage of here. One person is walking off with the, the loot and is very smug about it. So uh, this, uh, I would say, is also a yes card. Yes, you'll get your way, but um, you, know, you should think about how you're doing that. Chose number three, then we've got the Six of Pentacles. And you know, the Six of Pentacles is all about a distribution of the uh, value uh, that you have to deal with in this uh, question here. So it could be distribution of, of money, of wealth, of advice, of justice, 
um, um, however you, you, whatever the issue is that you have. But number three is another yes card. Okay. Number four, if that's the charge card that you chose. Uh, so this is the nine of uh, wands. You know, wands are uh, action, motion, planning, movement, fire, getting it done. This fella has suffered through it. He's come out in front of the issues. He's still got one uh, big plan uh, in his hand right here. And as beat up as he is, he's going to make this happen. This is a yes card. Okay, so one, two, three, four. Turn these over for now. And then we'll concentrate on this card as the center of attention. And uh, we will look for... Now let me shuffle these a couple of times, just for the heck of it. So... I'll look for five more cards to flush out this uh, Dianic Cross for you. Okay, so let's take them from this side. I'm going to go one, two, three, four, and five. There we go. Now I'm going to put this, this stack to work over here and see if we can make sense of this divination for you. Okay, so right smack dab here in the center is the Ace of Swords. Just a great big offer of truth, justice. This is happening, okay? There's a challenge to it, and the challenge is the Queen of Swords. So the Queen of Swords is just another uh, yes card, but it's an also another... Uh, so this sword is just sort of demanding uh, justice, um, demanding an action, and it will happen. Uh, this Queen of Swords... Uh, is very powerful. Let's, I'm not sure how this is a challenge to this big offer uh, here, unless it's too much of a good thing. Uh, let's see what comes out in the base of this reading. Base of this reading is the Queen of Pentacles. The Queen of Pentacles is, uh, this is such a strong uh, drawing. Look at this. So the Queen of Pentacles uh, represents the value. Now she's not uh, frivolous with her, with her, with her value. She's uh, very studious about it. Uh, she's got a, a plenty enough here to get accomplished what she wants to do. She's in a very uh, lively environment, bright sun, and whatever's going to happen here is going to move forward. Now that was the basis of this reading. So that's interesting for this queen of uh, pentacles to be uh, so prominent uh, as the past. So somebody, uh, this started with a great big uh, valuable situation that uh, was on the move. Um, in the past of this reading is, ah, look at that. So we've got the Seven of Swords. Seven of Swords is a uh, trickery, it's tomfoolery, it's a uh, thievery, and uh, it's nothing good. Although what's happened is, is this fellow has stolen these truths or these uh, rules or broken these rules or made off with, with, the, with these uh, justices. He's left a couple behind, and you could consider this either um, um, beneficial for you if you're the one who's been stolen from, or a clue to how uh, we can bring this person to justice. So that's the Seven of Swords in the past. I will put this whole thing together in a moment, but uh, let's see what we have in the sky for this. And we've got the Four of Swords. Wow, look at the swords in this, uh, this drawing. So we've got the Four of Swords here, and the Four of Swords tells us that this is, the best we can hope for right now is to take a minute to really study what's going on, to make sure before we proceed uh, at our own peril that we um, we uh, we really understand what's happening here. So yeah, this is the, the symbol of the uh, the the knight uh, typically taking a break uh, from battle or having come back from battle. Uh, you know, their sarcophagus, their tomb may have been ready for them uh, just in case. Uh, but uh, but this is a a situation we're having uh, being made to take a beat. Okay, so that's what we've got there. And the uh, likely outcome for all of this uh, is, ah, the Page of Swords again. This is fascinating. Okay, so the Page of Swords is this idea going forward. So let's start from the beginning. We got offered up with a great big Ace of Swords. It was challenged by this Queen of Swords. So we got a great big offer of truth that somehow um, the, the powers that be were saying, listen, I don't, I don't know if I want you to go forward with this. Let's really examine this truth. It started out with someone, it was a question of value. And uh, there was also a situation where someone may have felt uh, uh, misjudged or misused in some way before we got into the situation. We have to take advantage of uh, uh, understand, taking a minute to understand what we've been through and how we should proceed before we uh, get into more trouble. But we will proceed. This was, a, this was always a yes. We will proceed uh, with probably a new uh, idea uh, also, a new truth, a new rule, perhaps, um, to, um, 
to make this happen. Interesting reading. All these swords are really telling you, pay attention to the truth, watch for the rules, think about justice. That's what this is all about, and don't forget your value, because without your own personal core value, none of this really matters. Interesting. My goodness, that was a very heavy reading. Um, so, let's get this uh, back in here, and uh, see what we come up with for card number two. Do a quick dynamic cross, and I can see quickly that I'm going to lose a lot of space on this uh, small little uh, filming area I've got here. But if you chose number two, that's going to be the center of attention, and that also is a five of swords. So, you know, yeah, now I'm inclined to say this is a no, but we'll see how this comes out. So, um, this is the five of swords. This is an abuse of power, a feeling uh, as if uh, you've been taken advantage of or someone's been taking advantage of you. And uh, let's see if I can do a little bit of this. I don't know, that's not going to work very well. I'm going to have to shuffle them this way. Okay. But I feel like I really need to get these cards mixed a bit so we go uh, much further in this. Swords, 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 five of swords. Really, uh, someone is has proceeded at, at the um, at the ill uh, fate of someone else, unfortunately. So let's see what we get here. We need five cards out of this. So this will be one, two, three, four, and five. Okay, there we are. Everybody take a break. You guys go right there. And then we'll get into this divination for if you pick card number two. Um, signifier, piece of power, challenge to that. And oh my God, is the end of a cycle. I'm going to tell you very clearly. I think you did this. You may not have known you did it. Probably you did. And uh, and you need to know that, that that was the end of it. That put an end to whatever was before. And now uh, something else is going to have to happen because uh, this uh, this caused this. Uh, the uh, base of this reading, then, is the star. So we started out uh, from some enlightened place and then somehow uh, got to the spot that we felt that we could, um, you know, it was an okay, okay to take advantage. And that's a shame. Uh, in the past of this reading, uh, we have, okay, so yeah, we had, had partnerships. Um, this is a major arcana. These are the lovers. And so um, are these are lovers of the two of cups. These are the two of cups. Excuse me. Excuse me. So, um, you know, these uh, cards are telling us that um, there was a partnership involved here. It could have been even an, an oath may have even been sworn, uh, but uh, that trust uh, was not uh, kept. And then in the sky for this was happy family. So that's what we're shooting for is happy family up here. But I think happy family is not what we got. And then the likely outcome for all of this then is the Queen of Cups. It's an emotional, it's an emotional situation but the queen of cups is a woman of authority and she's going to go forward so she's got a great big uh, uh amount of understanding and compassion here and so she's going to make this go forward so we started out with an abuse of power it ended whatever it was that was the end of that uh, we started out in a blaze um and then uh the partnership was was a very close one and uh, we had everything we thought we we needed uh, but um, unfortunately, that was over, and uh, but we can begin again, and we just have to take with us a big uh, chalice of compassion. So that's what I get for that. And that's the number two card, if that's the one you chose. Okay. If this was your card, so this is the Seven of Pentacles. And, you know, the Seven of Pentacles is all about a distribution of wealth, uh, distributing the power, doling out what's important to one person and another, and whoever's doing the doling out is certainly the one in charge. So let's hope that was you. And it is the signifier. So you were the one who had the value at your disposal as you doled it out. That's exactly what happened here. Okay, we're going to... Are those five cards? If they are, I'm taking them. One, two, three, four, five, and six. I'm using those cards. That was just too uh, bizarre for that to happen. So we'll have an extra card here, but we'll use that to further the divination. Last thing I need with these giant cards is an extra card, but we'll make it work. Okay, so um, this um, seven of uh, pentacles is distribution of the uh, wealth. Uh, what is that challenged by? That's challenged by, ah, the page of pentacles was bringing this idea uh, up to begin with. So um, 
yeah, perhaps this wasn't something that you wanted to do, but the idea came up, and so now there was an obligation to start to get that out there. Uh, the base of this reading is happy family. So, yeah, that's if, if ever we want happy family, it's certainly when we're dealing with having to dole out our worth uh, in, in, in that situation. Okay, now the uh, past of this was, um, okay, working together toward a common goal. Uh, something of value could even be uh, an enterprise uh, money, but uh, certainly was cooperation with uh, some people close uh, to produce something that could be shown to the world. And then um, the uh, sky of this reading, the best uh, that we could hope for, again, is another message. This is the Page of Swords, and this is someone reminding us the truth is important. Okay, the rules and the truth are what really are going to make a difference in this situation. But the final outcome is going to be picking, you know, picking, picking a side, uh, making a choice. Uh, what are you going to do to get this thing done? And uh, that's what uh, the uh, major uh, outcome of this is going to be. But remember, I got an extra card here. And no matter which one, what you choose, it's truth or justice. It's all moving this thing forward. But um, to just further uh, clarify what's going on uh, and, you know, avoid, avoid. Um, stepping on somebody's toes, taking more than what is yours. <clears throat> you may be entitled to the lion's share. You just make sure you leave something behind for somebody else. And if you find yourself, if you stop and think about it, if you find yourself that you are the, in this position, you know that's not the right place to be. So be careful when you make this choice. That's what I see from here. What was the uh, signifier card? It was that. Okay. So now we'll go on to the last card, number four. And this should be very good. This final card. That was you. So that's the Nine of Wands. And the Nine of Wands is always about, um, you know, having been through the battle, come through uh, a little worse for wear, but really not at a point to where you couldn't go further. And um, you're not there. You've got something left in you. So the Signifier card is uh, really having come through all of that. It could have been a lot of plans, uh, a lot of issues that needed to be dealt with. Um, and uh, the nine, I'm not sure if that has any significance, but we'll see how that shapes up with the rest of this reading. So we're going to take five cards out of here. It's going to be one, two, three, four, and five. Okay. These can wait. We'll see how this works out. So the, the signifier card is really haven't been through it, but coming out and ready for more. But you know what? You're pretty pretty well spent. The uh, challenge to this is going to be uh, because you're being made uh, on offer of something that you don't really want to take. You know, it's not something you really want to do. Listen, I just want to sit under this tree with the trophies that I've already won, with the passion and the emotion that I've already gained, and I'm very happy. Um, you know, but this is a divine offer, so man. So the basis of this reading then is the King of Pentacles. And the King of Pentacles is the fellow who was always in charge. He was always going to be fine. And, um, and who could have thought that it would have ended up like this? And the past of this reading is, wow, yeah, happy family, familial wealth, lots of value. So this could have been something uh, centered around the family that really was the rock, uh, really the core of what this group and when I say family, it doesn't have to be your bloodline. It could be the core of the people that you're uh, that could be involved in this issue. It could be work people. It could be uh, your family that you've gathered around you that you've collected along the years. But this core of value that you had um, it, it brought you had to fight a hard won battle, and now to move forward is not really something you want to do. And it all started from a, a place of feeling very privileged. In the sky of this reading is the page of wands. So this fella is telling us, listen, there's a plan. And uh, let me show you what it is, and then you decide what you want to do with it. So the best we can hope for is to come out with a plan uh, that helps us to uh, further um, this uh, decision. But uh, the final outcome of this is, wow, the best way that you can handle this, this, this situation, again, is to reflect on what got you here in the first place. And I'm sorry it's not clearer than that, but that's what the cards are telling me. Okay. So those were the Oracle cards for today, and I hope you got something out of it. There we go. Well, that was a big finish for those cards. I hope you enjoyed using those huge, giant uh, Rider weight cards. I always have a fun time when I use them. I don't know why I don't use them more. So anyway, there we go. Four card Oracle you pick. Hope you got something out of it. If you didn't, come back to it later, or um, uh, you know, just think about it during the day. Something may occur to you. 
Well, I'm Mark. This has been My Journey Through Tarot. I'll be doing it again tomorrow if you want to go, so stop on by. Ciao for now.